My name is Virgil Stevens, born and raised in Globe, Arizona. Little uh, copper mining town and ranching town and got dropped off at the doorstep of the Stevens clan. Actually, my name is Phillips, but once I got there, uh, when I was five years old, I decided uh, after a few years changed my name uh, because now that's that's my parents. It's the, the Stevens family. And he was uh, uh, pretty famous in those parts for being a cowboy. And uh, so he took me under his wing and taught me the ropes. So I learned how to work cattle, brand cattle, and for fun was rodeo. So we did some team roping. I did a little calf riding, very little bull riding. Preferred uh, roping. That way you don't have to leave the saddle and you don't get stomped on very much. So as much. So anyway, um, graduated from there and uh, went to a junior college down in Phoenix because uh, all my buddies were. And uh, I played sports in high school, but I didn't. I had. I got offered a few little scholarships, but I. Uh, I don't know. I just done the sports and uh, cowboying, and so uh, I'm down there at the junior college, just signing up for classes. A couple of my buddies had a room at their apartment, and. Uh, I just went down to major and party, and uh, so they said that <clears throat> you have to declare a major, and uh, I just kind of froze up and uh, said, "Well, oh, okay." So I had a few more days, and uh, well, what? Let's see, uh, sports. Okay, well, let's go to the sports department, and uh, I'll uh, maybe consider being a phys ed major. Well, I didn't have any desire to be a teacher. And like I said, I was done running and playing sports. I don't know, I was just done with it. I did pretty good in high school, but I was just done with it. So uh, uh, some of my buddies said, uh, said, well, you were pretty good in art in high school, even though there weren't any art classes in high school, really. There was one, and I took it, but didn't really learn a lot. And I said, no, I don't want to be an artist. So I uh, went to the music department because I was played trumpet in high school. And... Uh, so uh, I went there and, and uh, I liked what I saw there and I had to declare a major. I didn't have much time left. I had another day to register. So I just went and declared my major as music in his music. And uh, went, when I went back home, I pulled out my trumpet, dusted it off and went back down there and, and uh, started playing and majoring in music. And I kind of liked it. And so I took those two years and I couldn't afford to go to university. But then at that time, uh, it was just time to go back home and and get married and settle down and become a copper miner like everybody else. Uh, my dad, like I said, was cowboy and he, he did work for the county for a few years driving the truck and uh, so he could get some kind of retirement and that was about it. But uh, And then uh, I, th I thought I'd be there forever. And like all the other people have been there 25, 35 years. And so uh, one day <clears throat> they shut the plant down and put thousands of us out of work. And I had uh, a wife and three babies, very young, and no income. And so a friend of mine had a sign shop there in Globe, and he says, uh, what are you going to do, Virgil, when the, the mine shut down? I said, well, I got nothing. Um, what do you suggest? And he says, well, I got a sign shop. I just bought into this business, and I got to run my dad's bowling alley. Uh, so if you want to go partners with me we'll split everything half down the middle and and any jobs you get yours any jobs mine if we work together we'll split it expenses we'll split it and anything like that and I said well that sounds good so uh, went to, uh, down to a sign shop there and had all this time because there were no new businesses moving in it was a depressed area because of the copper mines so <clears throat> I started looking around all these paint brushes and paints and I'd, I'd done a few signs for Oh, there's six, eight, nine months there. There was a little bit of business, and he showed me some tricks to sign painting. And uh, I was at a mall in Phoenix one day, and there was an art show up and down the mall. And I wandered up and down, and I saw what was supposed to be cowboy art. And this uh, guy was in like a Hawaiian shirt, a pair of shorts, and flip-flops, and, and was painting bad horses. So uh, I think... In, I could do better than that, I'm sure. So I come back to the sign shop, started getting some canvases, throwing some paint on it. I didn't know what I was doing. 
and uh, it was only 50 bucks to do a three four day show at that mall so I started doing the mall shows and one thing led to another became a professional artist but the older I get the roots come back you can just ask my wife <laughs> so uh, I'm back to the boots and wranglers and well that's the way I was raised and uh, and uh, that's my lifestyle and I like what I'm doing and uh, I like being an artist and that's about all I got to say. <laughs>